leader of the Labour Party, the man who wants to be Prime Minister, Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn, the chief rabbi says a new poison of anti-Semitism, anti-Jewism, has taken root in the Labour Party, and it's sanctioned by you, he says. He questions your fit for office. What's your response? I'm looking forward to having a discussion with him because I want to hear why he would say such a thing. So far as I'm concerned, anti-Semitism is not acceptable in any form anywhere in our society, and obviously certainly not in my party, the Labour Party. When I became leader in 2015, I looked at processes that were available for dealing with egregious behaviour, and they weren't as good as they should have been. We've developed a much stronger process. We have sanctioned people that have um, behaved in an anti-Semitic way, removed some from party membership, and indeed even removed people as candidates. And as far as I'm concerned, it's just not acceptable in any form in society. When the far right are rising across Europe, using anti-Semitic tropes mm -hmm. in order to intimidate people, then I think we've all got to stand up together but, on but this. It's not the and far right he's worried about. I'm sure he is worried about the far right, but that's not the result of this unprecedented intervention. It's about you uh, and how anti-Semitism rose as a problem in the Labour Party after you became leader. Why? It didn't rise after I became well, leader. Anti-Semitism well, anti 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 is there in society. There are a very, very small number of people in the Labour Party that have been sanctioned as a result of complaints about their anti-Semitic behaviour. As far as I'm concerned, one is one too many, and I've ensured action is taken on that. But we've also, on a positive side, recognised the need for education. So we set up an education process in the party, education packs are available, and also made it very clear that in government we would obviously support the Holocaust Education Trust and the need for all of our children to understand how the Holocaust came about and how the growth of the far right in Germany led to that. And uh, I think as a society we have to recognise that any form of racism is divisive and dangerous. So it's an attack Indeed. on a Jewish woman in the street or a Muslim person in the street, it's equally bad. An attack on a synagogue or a mosque right. is equally bad. But you, you're speaking in generalities. Let's get to some specifics. You said in the ITV debate that anyone who has committed any anti-Semitic act in the Labour Party, they've been suspended or expelled, and you've investigated, your words, every single case. The chief rabbi has called that a mendacious fiction. And he's right, isn't he? No, he's not right. Really? Because he would have to produce the evidence to say that's mendacious. Well, let's look for some. Let me ask you this. Is it anti-Semitic to say Rothschild Zionists run Israel and world governments? In the Chakrabarti report, we asked that people did not use comparisons about conspiracies, not use comparisons. Is, is can, that anti-Semitic? Because in the belief of Shami, and I support her on this in that report, that can be constructed as being an anti-Semitic statement. Right, and but let's just get it clear. And therefore should I, asked you, I gave you a specific quote. Mm -hmm. Are the words Rothschild Zionists run Israel and world government? Is no. that anti-Semitic? It should not be used, and it is. But you can't say it's anti-Semitic. No, I just said that it should not be used. That's <laughs> different from it being anti There's lots of things shouldn't be used, but, uh, but that's not the same as anti-Semitic. Is it or isn't it anti-Semitic? Andrew, it is an anti-Semitic trope that has right. been used. And that was, if you'd let me finish before, I made that very clear in the Chakrabarti report, which we did um, very right, so early we're agreed. on. It's very anti-Semitic. Right. That's all I wanted to establish. Very early on during my leadership. Yet these were the words used by Liam Moore, He's a Labour member, a former council candidate. Your party's actually been investigating him now for almost a year. It's not being investigated for anti-Semitism. But he it's hasn't been, been, been suspended. Process. He hasn't been suspended. You said everybody's been suspended yes, or expelled. I said they've been investigated and action has been But he been hasn't taken. been suspended. I said, and I stand by this, that every case that comes to us okay. is investigated, not by me, independently of me, and it ultimately can go to the National Constitutional Committee, why which is again... Has he, for using what is, we've agreed I, as an anti-Semitic trope, why has he not been suspended during the investigation? The investigation is ongoing. It's a year. It's ongoing so far as I'm aware, 
and action will be taken at the conclusion Why of that investigation. Why does it take a year to investigate someone who says Rothschild Zionists run Israel in world governments? Look, I don't know the process that is involved with him. In some cases, I don't know about his case, there is um, legal representations which often right. delay things a great deal. Let me just ask another. Is questioning whether six million Jews died in the Holocaust the kind of thing that should get you thrown out of the Labour Party? It's completely unacceptable and should not be happening. Then let me give you the case of Leslie Perrin. She was a Labour Party member. She posted a video denying the Holocaust and questioned whether the six million figure was accurate. And what did the Labour Party do? It gave her a written warning. No expulsion, no zero tolerance, just a written warning. That was uh, some time ago, I believe. You'd perhaps give me the date of that. The timing doesn't matter. That's what happened. Well, I've strengthened the processes in the last six but months. She That's posted why I the say Facebook that. on 2017, August. Yes. So it's not that long ago. I've strengthened the processes since then. But all you get for questioning the Holocaust, implying perhaps it didn't happen and the six million figure she said was a real problem, is you get a warning letter. Look, denying the Holocaust is appalling and it's totally wrong. Holocaust denial is right. not acceptable. So why did she just get a letter of warning? It's not acceptable in any way whatsoever. Why did she just get a letter of warning? Andrew, I've made it very clear. Holocaust denial is not acceptable. When did you toughen up the rules? When I proposed uh, that egregious cases should be fast-tracked through the... When was that? Um, during, the, during the last few months. Because I proposed she got, it to the National she got this letter and, this year. Yes, so I'm saying it was in the summer I proposed that. I mean, people worry if your heart's really in this. I mean, today when you launched your race and faith document, you had two prospective Labour candidates both of whom have been accused of anti-Semitism. One of them uh, reposted on social media uh, that Zionists are Zionist rulers. They were standing with you today. It's not the language they should use, not the language I would use. All I would say is that I have spent my life opposing racism in any form. I made the point that in the very place where we launched our manifesto this morning in Tottenham, I've been on the streets there in the 1970s and 80s when I lived in that area, opposing racism, and that is what my life... But the Jewish... Andrew, can I finish, please? That is what my life is about. Well, except, I feel very passionately... Except the about chief the, rabbi in the I British... I feel very passionately... You've not convinced the chief rabbi well, or the British Jewish community. Well, Your you party that, is being investigated um, uh, for anti-Semitism by the Equality and Human Rights Commission. Only the BNP's ever been investigated before, hard-right fascists. We're told thousands of cases have been submitted to the Equality Commission... British Jews, many of them fear you making it into Downing Street and that if you do, many are preparing to leave the country. Are you not ashamed of that? Andrew, this morning I made it very, very clear. We will, in government, as in opposition, protect any community that's under any threat of any sort. We will support the necessary funding to protect synagogues, protect temples and protect mosques. We will protect the cemeteries also. We, we will not allow anti-Semitism in any form in our society because it is poisonous and divisive just as much as Islamophobia or far-right racism is. And I think we can agree on that. Except and, that they, they don't trust you. They don't well, think your heart's in it. They've seen you share platforms with Andrew, some of the world's they, vilest anti semites When you say there, who do you mean? Uh, many Jews. 80% of Jews think that you're anti-Semitic. That's quite a lot of British Jews. I mean, wouldn't you like to take this opportunity tonight to apologise to the British Jewish community for what's happened? What I'll say to, is this. I am determined that our society will be safe for people of all faiths. I don't want anyone to be feeling insecure in our society. And our government will protect every community so against, no the, apology. Oh, against the abuse they receive on the streets, on the trains, or in any so other, no apology for in how you any other this. form of life. And try one more time. No, no hang apology. on a minute, Andrew. Can I explain what we're trying to do? You have, and you've been given plenty of time to do it. I asked you if you wanted to apologise. Uh, Andrew, and you I haven't. don't want anyone to go through 
what anyone has and gone through. And you've said that several times. I understand that, Mr Corbyn. I was asking you about an apology. Let's move on to Brexit. Well, hang you... on. Can I just make it clear? Racism in our society is a total poison. You've said that it... several times. So, you know, we get that. I'm not arguing Be about it that. Be Islamophobia, anti